Hello and welcome to Frost Valley YMCA. Today we're going to take a hike to High Falls, Frost Valley's most scenic hiking destination. This hike starts at the Lake Cold Trailhead near our boathouse. The Lake Cold Trail follows along the edge of our lake until we come to a bridge. Just after the bridge, the Lake Cold Trail intersects with our Deer Run Trail, which will take us all the way to our destination, High Falls. Let's go for a hike! There are several hiking safety tips you should follow whenever you're going out on the trail. Avoid hiking on familiar trails alone. If traveling with a group, never stray far from the group or off the trail. Tell someone where you're going and when you plan to return. Don't forget to check in with them when you get back. Stay on marked trails. Making shortcuts and bushwhacking causes erosion and greatly increases your chance of becoming lost. Never climb on rock walls unless you have the proper gear, supervision, and training. Prepare for the weather. Check the forecast before leaving for your hike and carry rain gear with you. If you become wet and cold, hear thunder or see lightning, seek shelter as quickly as possible. Move away from the tallest trees. The weather changes quickly in the mountains. Dress in layers. As you hike, remove layers if you begin to sweat, and add layers when you begin to shiver. Carry a whistle. If you're lost or hurt, and are unable to return, whistles can be heard from far away and require less energy than yelling. Three short blasts is a sign of distress. Carry plenty of drinking water, and never drink stream, river, or lake water no matter how clear it is, unless you have the proper sanitizing equipment. Keep in mind that technology doesn't always work in the great outdoors. GPS and cell phones can be unreliable, batteries can die, or the equipment can become damaged or lost. Bring a hard copy map. Wear sunscreen. Protect your skin from UV damage, even in the winter. Wear bright colors. Wear bright orange items such as a hat or handkerchief during hunting season. Carry a small first aid kit during overnight trips. Include gauze, band-aids, antibacterial ointment, medical tape, Tylenol, or aspirin. In the spirit of respect, responsibility, and stewardship, here are some hiking etiquette tips to observe. Hike quietly, speak in low voices, and mute your cell phone. Enjoy the sounds of nature and let others do the same. Keep the path clear for fellow hikers. If taking a break, move off the trail a few steps to allow others to pass by unobstructed. Carry out what you carry in. Don't toss any trash on the ground, not even biodegradable items such as banana peels, which can disrupt the local flora and fauna. Hikers going downhill yield to those going uphill. If you're traveling uphill, you have the right way. Let wildlife be. While many animals stay hidden, others are not so shy. Giving these creatures food only disrupts their natural foraging habits. Take only photographs. Aside from samples for research, the only souvenirs a hiker should come home with are photographs and memories. And remember, dirt doesn't hurt. Walk through the middle of mud or puddles and not around it unless you can do so without going off the trail. Widening a trail by going around puddles, etc. is bad for trail sustainability.
After we turn this corner, we'll be approaching the bridge that I mentioned earlier. Before the bridge is a fishing dock. We're going to go out onto the dock and just pause for a minute to see what kind of nature we can see and hear all around us. What can you observe? We've skipped ahead just a little bit, because this hike normally takes about two hours. We've just crossed over the bridge and over a dirt driveway to meet up with the Deer Run Trail. There are many health benefits to hiking. Hiking on a regular basis can positively impact a person's blood pressure and cholesterol by decreasing blood pressure, lowering LDL cholesterol, the unhealthy kind, and reducing the danger of heart disease, diabetes, and stroke for those at high risk. Hiking regularly also aids in diabetes prevention by helping control or even prevent type 2 diabetes giving your muscles a workout which get, moves glucose from your bloodstream for energy and lowers blood sugar levels. Regular hikes also improve bone strength by helping reverse the negative effects of osteoporosis, increasing bone density, and slowing the rate of calcium loss. Hiking also helps with healthy weight management. Hiking burns nearly 400 calories per hour strengthens muscles which help you burn excess fat, elevates your heart rate which helps you burn more calories even after you've stopped hiking. There are even spiritual and emotional benefits to hiking. Spending time in nature has been linked with decreasing anxiety and depression. Rigorous exercise like hiking releases endorphins which interact with the receptors in your brain to make you feel more positive, motivated, and happy. Hiking can be considered a form of meditation. Focus on observing all of your surroundings. Go through your senses. What can you see? What can you hear? What can you smell? What do you feel? Or you can simply concentrate on breathing the fresh country air. We're now in the home stretch of this hike, where the trail becomes steeper and the ground is a little more uneven.
Just a few more twists and turns before we can start to hear the water roaring as it cascades down over High Falls. Thanks for joining us on our hike. We hope you had fun and learned something. You can find more fun and educational videos on Frost Valley's YouTube channel and other social media pages. Hope to see you there!